What about the emotion of it with your parents and so many people here, your brother on the other side, what it might have meant to you? Uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, it was a great feeling and, uh, it's different playing against him. Uh, I don't think we've ever done that always together or whatnot, but it was fun to compete against him and, uh, it was good to, it was good to win against him. And so it was cool. Hagan, how nice was it to, that your your offense came out and gave you that that seven nothing lead pretty quick? Yeah, it was really nice. Some you gotta stay a little more lost in because when they're scoring like that, it's kind of you get to kind of watch and everybody hitting. So I kind of had to stand back a little bit. I didn't get to watch that much though. And yeah, it shows a pretty big motion when you got that last strike out. Did you know that Dave said it was your last batter, no matter what? Did you kind of have a feeling that that was your last guy? And just what was that moment like? No, I didn't, I didn't really know honestly. I mean, Coach Hobbs and I talked about it maybe. But I mean, it just it just kind of like a big situation, kind of to get the dugout going a little bit. I don't know. Nolan, the the two home runs tonight. I think your your first one might have been your your like softest hit ball of the night. I mean, just how how locked in do you feel right now? What's what's going through your mind at the plate? Um, I mean, I feel pretty good up there. I feel like I'm seeing the ball well, and I feel like my swing has been feeling good. I've been swinging at the right pitches and. Uh, that's just kind of what's been leading to my success. How much of that have you maybe maybe worked on uh, this, you know, build up to the season and early on making sure you swing at the right pitches? Because I know, you know, you're on getting walks and stuff has been a reason that you've been put in the lineup right now. Yeah, I've, uh, I've worked on that a lot. That's something that I struggled with in the preseason. And uh, something that really stood out to me is something that I needed to work on both when when that fall ended, when I went home for winter break, and then in the spring when I came back. So that's been one of the uh, main things I've been focusing on. How many, how many two homer games uh, before tonight? And do you remember many? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nolan, before you hit the first home run, it was a 3 1 count, and you took a pitch that was kind of on the outer edge, like a pitcher's pitch. You feel like that's kind of a sign of your maturity as a hitter, of how you've evolved here recently, of taking that pitch and then getting a better one to hit the next pitch? Yeah, I mean, I feel like before I probably would have swung at it, but uh, I felt like I was able to compete no matter what he threw me on that next pitch, whether it was taking it for a walk or taking a base hit or whatever. So uh, that 3-1 pitch wasn't one that I really wanted to swing at, so I just took it. And Hagen, for you, it felt like last year there were like a lot of outings where you'd have like one inning that kind of blew up or you couldn't work deeper into games. Do you feel like you're better equipped this year just physically and mentally to work deep into games and to give Arkansas like those six, seven inning starts to start the weekend? Yeah, for sure. I mean, last year, I don't know if I ever – I didn't. I struggled when I started. Uh, there was always that one inning, like you said. And I think just this is the biggest thing for me this uh, spring or this preseason was just working on the mechanics, staying true, getting stronger. I think it helped a lot. Hey, it looked like there was some, maybe some variety to the, the like the speed of your breaking pitches tonight. Was there, you know, anything different? I mean, are there two different breaking pitches, and and what specifically maybe was working for you tonight there? Yeah, I was throwing two different. I was throwing cutter and slider, and then I threw some change up or splitters, but that was really I threw cutter and slider a lot. I think you might have thrown those pitches maybe more so early in the game than you have earlier this season. Was that something you guys saw through Missouri or just, you know, uh, you and Hudson working together out there? It's just kind of me and Hudson. I mean, we know going in that Missouri is a, a good team and the SEC team, so you can't just throw fastballs down the middle to them, so you got to keep mixing. Ross, it probably wasn't the, the fall or preseason you maybe hoped, but since the season's gotten here, you've hit really well. Just what was the, what's been the key to, to hitting so well in the regular season? Uh <clears throat> I mean, I've been I've played in this league for uh, three years, and um, I think just that experience of playing every day for a while um, helps. Um, I know what I'm getting into when it comes to conference and preseason, so just really slowing the game down and never make a moment bigger than it is. Nolan, do you know the the pitcher tomorrow at all? It seems like yeah, it just. It's on his bio. It says he's from Hawaii. Just wondering if there's any oh, question. Is it yeah. I don't know him personally, but uh, I watched him. He was a lot older than me back home, so I never played against him. But, yeah, I've, I've heard of him. That's good. All right, guys. Three yes. Yep. Thanks, guys.